Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to manage attributes for WooCommerce products. And I'm talking about the global attributes as well as the local attributes which are managed in the single products from here. So uh, global attributes are also uh, usable here, but uh, you can also define your own local attributes without going on uh, this attributes page from a product section. Okay. First of all, I'll show you two samples. One is a simple product and one is variable product, this one. And this one is a simple product. Simple product is a single price item where you can add different attributes, for example, colors, sizes, and some other custom attributes, but the price will remain the same. If you increase the quantity, then the price will be increased, but uh, for single quantity, it will be the same. While for variable products, when you choose different attributes, you can see that uh, the same attributes are here, but these two are used for variations, while this one is left behind. And this one only uh, shows on the additional information tab. So if we choose one color and one size then the price will be this one but if we change the size price changes if we change color price changes it means that different combination will make different prices so this is a variable product with uh, attributes and variations and this is a simple product with uh, multiple attributes but uh, just one variation so when you come to attribute section, you can add global attributes here and I'll show you how to use them on your product page. For example, I'm adding a new attribute here. Let's say the variation, uh, the attribute name is battery and click on add attribute. After adding the battery attribute, we will set our configured terms for this. For example, uh, we will set two values battery included and not included included and not included okay we'll get back to attribute section now you can see battery have two values included and not included now when we come to our product and refresh the page to uh, load the attributes come to attributes uh, okay this is the variable product First, I'll show you how to add it in variable products. Click on attributes. Now, you can see that battery is already there because it's a global attribute and uh, you can add global attributes from this list. But if you can, uh, you can also add a custom attribute by clicking on custom attribute, click on add, and you can type in the name. For example, if I'm not using the battery attribute from global one, and I'm adding this manually included then use a pipe sign and then another value not included click on save attribute and update the product and let's see what is the impact let's refresh the product on front end as we are using uh, this variable product so it will be in additional attribute here battery included not included but we want to add this uh, these two things within here because uh, it will impact the price if we uh, if a customer orders a battery then the price will be increased uh, for example let's say twenty dollars will be included and uh, twenty dollars less for not included so come here and choose that attribute and click on used for variations save attribute now come to variation now you can see that there is a third option for each variation for example these two uh, combination with battery included and we will first uh, create all variation from all attributes because mm, each of these combination will have at battery included and not included okay now you can add a price for not included 
450 and for three pieces 11 three pieces 11 included this one it will be 480 so when we save this and click on update product now come here refresh the page now three pieces 11 and if you choose included it will be 480 but if you choose not included it will be 450 so uh, these three combination price is 450 now simple for uh, simple product if we edit the product this time we will use global attribute you can also uh, choose global attribute for the variable product it's a variable product if you come to attributes and choose battery as a global attribute and then the name will be unchanged and you can click here and uh, the values from the global attribute will come automatically here you can choose values one by one and then save it and uh, for variation the process will be the same click use for variation and then come to variation and uh, make them okay I'll remove this one okay now come to simple product and similarly we can add a global attribute and select just one item because this will be a static item and not selectable so uh, for our static product or simple product it will be included or not included uh, it's just mentioned here because it's not selectable by user so we will uh, leave just one value and click on save attribute now refresh the page click on additional information and battery included so uh, this is the difference between global and local attributes and uh, for variable and simple product uh, I hope you understand uh, the attributes well and uh, please subscribe to our channel and please give this video a thumbs up uh, so you won't miss out future updates thank you